Hey guys, welcome back to another beautiful video with me. My name is Mimi. If you're stopping for the first time, you're highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Hit on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a new video. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how to go about sewing your open pack beaded kimono jacket. If this sounds like something you're interested in, please keep on watching and let's get started. So for this video, we'll be making use of our African print. I have about two yards and then our crystal beads. So the first thing I will go ahead to do is to fold my fabric in four. After folding by two, I folded it again. And then I'll go ahead and take my vertical measurement. I've, the first thing I went ahead to draw out was my shoulder line and then my sleeve and with how wide I want the sleeves to be. And then the next thing I'll go ahead to take will be my the full length of my kimono jack. So for me, I'll be making use of 28 to 29 because I don't want it too long. So I'll be making use of 29 inches. So go ahead and take yours. So after I was done, the next thing I went ahead to do was to take my neck width, which for me is three taking three for my neck width and then i also decided to come down by three for the neck depth and then i'll go ahead and use my ruler to connect so after this, the next thing I also went ahead to do was to come down by my shoulder line by one for my shoulder slope. This is totally optional. So I decided to go down by one and then using my root to slope my shoulder. This is totally optional. You can decide to cut yours without sloping the shoulder. And so after that, I came down to where I have the length for my my sleeve width. I decided to take my hip measurement there, which for me I took nine and a half, and I added five inches allowance. So after that, the next thing I went ahead to do was to come up from that um, line. Came up by one and a half to make a curve to connect to my sleeve this is what i mean so i went ahead to make make a curve like this for my sleeve so i'll go ahead and extend this line down to the length of my kimono so the next thing i will go ahead to do now is to cut out I just go ahead and cut it out like this. And so, after I was done cutting, this is what I have. After I was done cutting, so the next thing I will go ahead to do now is to extend this three inches um, of a neck width. I'm going to extend it to the length of my kimono. Just go ahead and extend it like this. The three inches we took on our on our neck for the neck width. Just go ahead and extend it to the length of this kimono. So the next thing I will 
do is to go ahead and cut out this line. Just go ahead and cut it out like this. So, after I was done cutting, if you did same, you'll notice you have about four pieces here. And two is going to say for the front, while the other two for the back. So, I decided to bring two, which is seven for the back. And then I'll go ahead and make a fold here. I'll do same for both the two pieces. So, after I was done, this is what I have for the back. And then... I also went ahead to bring my two front piece and then I'll be joining it together with the back piece and then I'll go ahead and stitch the shoulder. I'll do the same thing for the other side. I'll also go ahead and stitch the shoulder and then I'll bring it back to show you what it looks. So after I was done, this is what I have. Also, the thing for this is what I have, and I also went ahead to cut out my band, which will be going around our kimono. And then for the width, I decided to use four. And then after folding, we we'll have some, we we'll have about two inches. So I'll just go ahead and stitch all around. Now this is me sewing my band to my dress. I decided to make my sewing from the back because i want us to have a very neat finishing on the front just just watch carefully what i'm doing you understand better so i'll go ahead and sew like this go ahead and sew like this so when you're sewing when you get to the neck part of it you notice a leftover for the front piece this is totally correct you are not out of it go ahead and stitch all of that little piece and then take your tape measure from there remember our neck depth was three so that three into two is six so measure six inches and make a mark there just go ahead and make a mark there. This is going to be our neck for... It's going to save as our collar for the back. So from that 6 inches, go ahead and place the other piece for the front. You also notice a leftover. Continue sewing just like what you did at the other piece. So go ahead and sew till you get to the end of your dress. Just go ahead and sew. And so, if you have a leftover after sewing, you can also go ahead and cut it out. So after I was done sewing, I noticed I had some leftovers, so I went ahead to cut it out. So now, after cutting them out, the next thing, we are going to do now is to make a fold like this and then run a stitch from the front of our dress. This is the reason why I said earlier that we'll be sewing from the back so that we'll be able to control the stitch for our band in front. And you can see how this how neat this is looking. So just go ahead and sew. And when you get to the neck you discover something like this. So just go ahead and flip in the other one inside like this and keep on sewing. Just flip it like this. Go ahead and make your stitch. So we're going to do this all the way till we get to the length of our dress. Just go ahead and 
keep sewing till you get to the end of your dress. And so after I was done sewing, this is what I have. This is what I have. You can see how beautiful this is looking and our jacket is almost ready. So the next thing I'll go ahead to do is to, to pipe the sleeves. You can decide to just fold it, but for me, I will, I will be making a pipe there. And so after I was done piping, this is what I have. I also went ahead to shape the kimono and this is where the main deal is the beading so this is it just go ahead and connect your thread and you need to make sure you use the same color thread with your bead this will make this outfit to give it a very nice look for the bead aspect of it so this is me picking my crystal beads so just connect so i'll just go ahead and pick them one after the other this is where the real work is and if you don't have patience you can do this one so this is what is is looking i don't i didn't just want to make it straight so i decided to make it fall because for me i think this is more beautiful than making it just straight so i decided to make it fall like this and make sure you it is well tightened, well secured so that your beads will not fall out or something. So I'll just go ahead and secure it very tight. And then after I was done, this is what I have for the first one. I'll also go ahead and continue beading for the second one till the end of where I want my bead to stop. I just go ahead and keep beading. This is what I have for the second one. So I'll go ahead and keep beading till where I want my bead to end. So this is how far I've gone and you can see our kimono is almost ready. So I'll just go ahead and take my measurement to know where I want my bead to end. So and after I was done beading, this is what I have. And you can see how beautiful this is looking. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one.